Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm outside the Donald E. Stevens Convention Center to see a few of the former Cubs and get my Cubs poster signed. So let's go up in there and get this done. We got our Cubs poster to get signed. This one's a little more special. First one I had sign it was Ernie Banks. A lot of the signatures I got on here, I got for free. Getting them for free doesn't really make them more special, but it's kind of a more memorable, memorable experience. Like the ones at the convention kind of get moved along. A lot of them, there isn't much memories to it. But the free ones, like, I tend to remember those more. Like the very first guy I had signed this was Ernie Banks. He was signing on opening day at Harry Carey's restaurant. And it was like 4.30 in the morning you had to be there. So, it's kind of a weird time to sign. All the news crews were there. Makes it a little more memorable. Second guy I got was Ryan Sandberg. That wasn't exactly free, it was kind of semi free. He was signing at the auto show. So you gotta pay for the ticket to get in, and parking, and gas to get there. It's probably about 50 bucks all together. Also, the same year that Rhino was at the auto show, Kane and Taze from the Blackhawks were both there together. So, that's something you don't really forget. That was a crazy year. And I got uh, Ron Santo here. He was signing on opening day one year at the McDonald's that used to be across the street from Wrigley. And I got uh, Billy Williams. He was at the Lord and Taylor over in Woodfield Mall. I got Fergie Jenkins out of Menards. <laughs> so it's like I was getting all these good players for free right at the beginning of this poster. So I made it a rule to only get players that can have some type of inscription by their name, even if I wasn't able to get an inscription. But they had to at least be like an all-star or a gold glove. The only one I really broke that rule with, Steve Trout. He was at a, a small town fair with Bob Denier and Milt Pappas. No hitter and the 84 gold glove. And since they're all sitting next to each other and they were all signing the Cubs poster, I felt bad telling him that he couldn't sign it. So he's the only one that doesn't have any type of accolades next to his name if you really look him up. I also have Pat Hughes, Cubs announcer, but he's in some uh, Hall of Fame, I forget which ones exactly. I think one of them was the WGN Hall of Fame. But oh uh, yeah. That's why the free ones usually stick out more because there's usually kind of a better story that goes along with them. More of a memory. Thank you. And sadly, none of my videos recorded from this weekend. The only one that recorded was Mike Tyson. So all those other videos I made for I made are just garbage. Because the actual autograph videos came out black for some reason. Thanks a lot, GoPro. And we're back with our Cubs poster. Had Todd Hollinsworth. Signed it at the top. NL Rookie of the Year, 96. And then we got the... We 
got Ben Zobrist, 2016 World Series MVP. And then we got uh, Kerry Wood, 1998 NL Rookie of the Year. So I've had this poster for over 10 years, taking it around, trying to get different guys. I already told you about these two I just got. I also have uh, Lou Pinella. I had him put the 1969 AL Rookie of the Year, even though he wasn't on the Cubs, obviously. He was the manager when I met him. <laughs> we got uh, Jerome Walton, 1989 NL Rookie of the Year. Then we got Mickey Morandini, 1988 Olympic gold medalist. And there's uh, Steve Trout that I mentioned earlier. We got a Carlos Marmol, Lee Smith, seven time All Star. That was before he was inducted in the hall, I met him. We got a Ryan Dempster. Bob Denier, 84 Gold Glove. Milt Pappas, no hitter, 9 2, 72. We got Andy Pafko. I met him, I don't know how long ago, but uh, it was way before the Cubs were even thought of being in the World Series. And he was one of the last living Cubs that played in, I think it was the 1945 World Series that they lost. And here we have Ryan Sandberg, Hall of Fame, 2005. Ernie Banks, Hall of Fame, 77. Ron Santo. I asked him to put a gold glove inscription, and uh, he wouldn't do any inscriptions. And then he told me that he would like to put a Hall of Fame inscription. I don't know if he was asking me if he could put a Hall of Fame inscription, because I would have let him. But um, I thought he was saying that they wouldn't let him in the Hall of Fame, so he couldn't put it. So I'm not really sure what he meant by that. But, uh... Yeah, he didn't want to put the gold glove. And we got uh, Billy Williams, Hall of Fame, 87. And Rookie of the Year, 61. Andre Dawson, Hall of Fame, 2010. He was uh, my favorite player when I was a kid growing up. Fergie Jenkins, Hall of Fame, 91. Here we got Dave Kingman, three-time All-Star. And Pat Hughes. He's a Cubs broadcaster. He was actually at the, the show that I went to where I met Kerry Wood and Todd Hollinsworth, Ben Zobrist. He's not someone I would have normally had put on this poster. I guess most Cub fans would, but... You know, that was one of those where he, him and Ron Santo were uh, across the street from Wrigley Field at the McDonald's that used to be there, and they were signing autographs before the first game of the year, opening day. So I kind of just let him sign it too, because I, I felt like a jerk telling him, no, you can't sign it when... Ron just signed it right in front of you. So yeah, that's another one that I let go on there, but he's actually in the WGN Hall of Fame and he's in another Hall of Fame in New York. I think that might be a Heritage Hall of Fame though. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel to see who else we get to fill up all these empty spaces on the poster. Share with your friends. 
If there's any autographs you would like me to get for you, comment down below and we can work that out. Until our next signing, we'll see you next time.